So that means we're done with this then, right? That's it? That's everything for that galaxy, right? Because I haven't seen a Hungry Luma yet. Still no. Alright, well I guess he doesn't want to show off. He really just doesn't like Mario. Alright, so there we go. We're down to our last galaxy. Thank you. And it's a fire galaxy. See now, when I first did this, and I saw that this was a fire galaxy, I was like, Oh yeah, I totally forgot about it! And for some reason it just surprised me. And it's probably because, and I get it, you know, like, in most Super Mario Brothers world games, the fire one's usually the last. But in the case of, like, Mario 64, it's, like, level 7. So you would think of it. And then in the case of, um, Sunshine, it wasn't even really technically a level. I mean, yes, it was leading up to the boss, but I didn't even really count that as a level. So it kind of surprised me for some reason. And for the most part, I don't mind it. It's not a stupidly annoying galaxy. It has a stupidly annoying star or two. Okay, see you later. I can... Uh, there's like something. I think it's a Daredevil run. That's stupidly annoying. Because you actually have to do the entire star. Like, you know, from where I just was. I don't remember which one it is, but I remember it being dumb. And... It also annoyed me because 99% of the times I wouldn't try to avoid those. I would just, you know, play. I didn't know they could hurt you until I did the Daredevil run. Then all of a sudden I was hitting those things all the fucking time. And something about this little spot just feels so delightfully out of place that I don't hate it. There's nothing up here. But yeah, no, I just run around and never really got hit by those things. And then when I did the Daredevil run, couldn't stop getting hit by those things. Now if you sit right here, you're inside of a volcano. Do this, a bunch of star bits, come on, let's get this, oh, I actually didn't want to leave, but alright. Get a bunch of star bits, pretty explosion, that probably didn't look so pretty on my video, but you know what, I actually do feel, oh, how much do you need? How much, though? 80? Wow, you're a, you're a dick. Um, I'll see if I can find, like, one and then come back. But I apparently, I don't think I can. Uh, alright. Wait, 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 there's one, there's one, there's one. Go back, go back, go back! Let's see if we can actually do that. Because if so, I'd like to, rather than have to you know, go back there again. Awesome! That's actually possible, and you can still see the volcano erupting, even though it, like, erupted five minutes ago. Alright, now jump. Okay, no, you you were good, now we're good. Yeah, no, it, what I was trying to say was, even though I know this isn't the best possible quality in comparison to, like, what other people have, you know, like, when I look at my videos of Twilight Princess, and then I look at Steven Play's videos of Twilight Princess, I hate myself. And then when I look at my videos of Majora's Mask, and I look at Chugga's videos of Majora's Mask, I hate myself. But at the same time, though, when I do stuff like this, and I just look at my own, you know, I do feel like at least it looks okay. <laughs> it just doesn't look okay when you compare it to other people's stuff. Then it looks crap. Uh, I'm going this way. How's it going, guys made of fire who really want to kill me? See, now that on a scale of one to fair was not fair. See, like, I just ran it right in front of all of those. Didn't touch them. But, I mean, it was because the fact that, you know, I didn't really ever touch them that I didn't ever notice that they were evil, deadly things. Alright, this is very, very, very bad. But, uh, we should hopefully be able to pull it off. It's really... Okay, okay. No, no, no. Stop. This can save our life if we just can get up there. Oh, thank God. Man, that's, that's how you do it. Uh, I didn't want that to happen. I hate that so much. Now it's really weird, because I'm like, trying to- Okay, you're not supposed to fucking touch me! 
Like, I'm trying to see... Oh my god. I'm trying to see what I'm doing, but because the angle's all skewed and stuff, I'm having to turn my head, and there's not really a way I can actually see what I'm doing straight, because it's tilted as shit. You're gonna really put it all the way over there. Alright, where is that in relation to me? That is over there. Or is that a coin? That's a coin. It's right here. That was close. We did it! We could have just done it much easier if I had been able to look straight. That is one thing, though, that I will say about this game. It's like, as cool as it is and all that, it's just not one that you can really say is for everyone because of the way it handles, and that's mostly due to the whole, you know, walking upside down shit. It's... It doesn't feel like it's for everyone. It's for those who, like, really like Mario and are really experienced with games, you know? Like, I understand it's meant to be a kid's game, but... I don't know, I just feel like if I gave this to anybody, not anybody could do it. it, would, it this feels like a game that would put off people because of the way it handles. You know? Okay, there we go. <laughs> See, I can handle it! Because I've been playing video games ever since I was four. That's actually a thing that I kind of hate, is when people will be like, Oh, well, you're... Unless you do X, you're not a gamer, or whatever. I'm like, well, shit, I've just wasted all of my life. So tell me, what's your best record on speedrunning Banjo-Kazooie in the Resident Evil games? Oh, you haven't? Then shut the fuck up. Okay, that was great. I know people do that with Luca a lot. Like... They'd be like, oh, you've never played Ocarina of Time? You're not a real gamer. And she'd be like, dude, I've been playing games since before you were born. <laughs> and I just hate that mentality. Like, I understand both sides of it. Like, I get why you would, oh, it blows up anyway. Why you would, you know, think that, because it's, you know, this big deal of a game. At the same time, it's like, well, don't try and down-talk the way other people's experiences are. Like... That one in particular was like some dude talking about Dark Souls, and it's like, well, I've never played Dark Souls, but that's because I don't own a console that it's on. So that's why. And it's like, I'm still a gamer. If you would ever, thank you. Not only that, but I also have no interest in Dark Souls. I get it, it's frustratingly difficult. If you do it, you're a man. That's fucking great. But you know what else is frustratingly difficult? Like, oh my god, will you ever do anything? For starters, this. <laughs> but not nearly as Dark Souls. Um, the Donkey Kong Country games, those are notorious for being super difficult. There's things like, I want to be the guy. See, look, it, it lets you pull through instead of forcing you to trip. I want to be the guy. I beat that. Uh, and then there was a bunch of games that that started just as a way of pissing people off. Which kind of annoys me. I tried I want to be the fan game. You know, it was cool. But uh, after a while, it got stupid because everybody was doing it. But yeah, no, I beat. I want to be the guy. I did that. That's frustratingly difficult. I've beaten the Donkey Kong Country 2 and 1. Those are frustratingly difficult. Those were notorious for being really hard. Uh. Have you ever. Jet Force Gemini? Ouch. I wouldn't say it's, like, really hard, but it easily has probably, like, one of the hardest boss fights in a shooter. As does, in my opinion, Metroid Prime 2. But I didn't beat Prime 2. I got to the very, very end and then couldn't beat it. And then gave up. I was like, well, there's absolutely no way I can do this, so I might as well return it. And I had all the energy tanks, and I don't remember how many missiles. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't do it, so I had to give it back. I said, fuck it. And Prime 2 to me is a game that's like, you know, I might own it just for shits and giggles, but I really just don't like the game. To me, it's more interesting to watch other people play it. Like, Prince Boo beat the entire game with a single tank, and that's the most badass thing in the world. And it makes me feel like, because I've watched stuff like that, that I have, like, a better idea of what I could do, you know, than my first time playing. Like, if I were to pick it up and play it again, maybe I wouldn't hate it so much. Maybe I'd actually be able to do it. But the game's just... Probably one of the most frustrating controls I've ever played. It made me hate Samus for a bit. The spider ball bosses, a good portion of, as to why that is. I also hate the fact of, uh, and I think the Boost Guardians are a good frustration too, if I remember correctly. 
hate the mindset of if you want this power, you have to beat someone who has this power. Like, I get that's Mega Man Syndrome, but as a Metroid game, that's just fucking annoying. And yes, I just realized it went from talking about hard games I've played to how Metroid is frustrating. Okay, I can't quite do that. Oh, man. There's a lot of crystals here. Thank you. I don't know, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. I'd have to, like, look through my back loggery to see what it is I have and haven't beaten. That would be considered difficult. Uh, what else is there that's really hard? <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna say Skyward Sword, since everyone wanted to bitch about the controls. <laughs> no, it's so difficult, it's actually really not. Like, I have problems with my pointer, and I was able to use the bow and arrow just fine. And then the sword's not that problematic either. The only thing I dislike about it is just when you're running around and you have, like, you're just holding the, you know, remote in whatever position feels comfortable to you. And then Link just looks kind of retarded holding his sword out in that position while you're running around. That's the only thing I don't like, is it just looks weird. Next to that, I don't like how Asian-sounding Link sounds. I get it, it's a Japanese game. Oh my god. That was my own fault. But god damn it, he's never sounded like that before. Why does he have to sound like it now? Was, is there a fire flower somewhere? No, it's right, I remember how. Come here. It's one. It's two. Oh, it's not even fair! Ugh, whatever. Actually, this one, this star, is probably, like, one of the ones I actually probably like the most, ironically. And I'm just saying that because, you know, it's a rolling ball one, but this is the rolling ball one that's probably given me the least trouble ever. Oh, that is a swamp who has ended my life. And I'm aware by saying anything positive, I've invoked the wrath of the video game. So not only will I get thwomped, but I'll probably actually, oh my god, not be able to finish the sentence. There. So then we get a life back that you've wrongfully taken away from me. And by the way, no, you can't, oh my god, just long jump across. It's actually too far. Oh my god! That was close. This is, there's too much falling meteors that are trying to end my life. This looks interesting as a texture. I don't know why, but I, I find it interesting. That almost hurt, but it did. I also don't understand, oh my god. I don't understand why everyone seems to like have this thing as like, Oh, controllers that take your blood. It's like, suppose, or something like that, where, like, it actually registers pain when you get hurt. Like, why would someone come up with that? Mostly just because, A, that's stupid, and B, no one wants to get hurt playing a fucking game. That's like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Like, the blood part to make the controller power makes a little bit of sense, because it's like, oh, well, this is how much energy you're wasting. Well, that's great. We get it. Energy gets wasted but that's not going to make anything better. That's just going to get people killed, you stupid fucker. Like, I don't understand that. People, like, do that as, like, some sort of way of proving a point. I'm like, the only point it's proven is just how retarded you are. All right, you need to come with me somewhere. I'm just not entirely sure where, so let's go look together. I'm assuming it would be up here. Oh my god, there's so many guys! That almost ended my life. Yeah, that... That was a reasonable deduction as to why I didn't think of it, because you're walking on it, and how would you get a bullet to do that? Alright. Ball time. So let's see if this is... Oh my goodness. Going to be forgiving on me or not. Most of the time, this has not been a pain in the ass. I'd always come super close to dying and not actually die. But, uh, I just feel like since I said something positive, the wrath will fall down upon me. Alright, stop, 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 stop. You need to stop. I actually feel like this would probably be 
better off executed with Wii Motion Plus. It's just right when you get here. <sighs> Go Mario! So remember, when I say positive things, negative things happen to me. <laughs> You've seen the proof. Yeah, so there you go, that one. It's so easy to go through there, and then right here you just gotta be patient and then hope you can make the jump. I'm hoping for a bigger tile than that. Yeah, like that one right there. I don't know, it's just like, of all the ball ones, this one probably bothers me the least. Probably because I'm not on it for a long time. It's just like, 30 seconds, and it's over. And I only died once. I'm pretty sure I've died more than once on all the other balls. Excuse me. Both for burping and for you being a stub. 